We just finished making our 40-card decks from our Winchester draft. I hope I didn't say Winston earlier. Winchester draft. That's what we did. Um, we have 40 cards, and we need to roll off to see who goes first. All right, let's see. I'm going to count that roll. It's a seven. Great. What do I get? A six. Ha-ha! <laughs> I was right to take the seven. Not that I didn't see it before I before I said I was keeping it. All right, I will go first. Let's uh, draw seven and... Keep or mulligan, as as it were. Let's see. Oh, that is a single land. I I guess I'll mulligan. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna mulligan. I think I can keep this actually. Okay. As it turns out. That is very good. All right, I gotta put something back. I will put back on the bottom. Yeah, it's got to be this one. Hope you all saw that, everyone watching. Great. Hopefully I didn't accidentally mess something up there where my, my deck did a weird thing. I picked up the top card. Anyway, I'm going first. Uh, oh, are you? I guess it makes sense, yeah. Yeah, I rolled higher. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, for, I totally forgot about that. Weird. I don't know. Uh, sorry. I'm going to play a forest and pass. All right, I'm going to untap and draw. Mm. Good policy. I'm going to play and, and Island. Tap the Island, play the Dalkin Mentor. The Dalkin Mentor? <gasps> it's a one mana one one that taps for white or blue and also uh, if it's enchanted, your Vidalkin wizards have flying. Other than itself, it doesn't get flying. Yeah. So oh, other ones. Ha! Yeah. 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 You need to have... I was really planning on enchanting it, but cool to know. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Are you done? I'm done, yeah. Great. Untap and draw. That is a pretty good open, honestly. That that mana dork. It's a pretty good mana dork! Yeah. I will... play a planes. And I will... say go. Right, I'm going to untap and draw. Okay. I am going to play uh, a swamp. Okay. Island I attack this uh, Vidal Commentor. Play Warmonger's Demand. Warmonger's Demand. Ooh, okay. We got three colors here. Very good. Warmonger's Demand, right. one man enchantment whenever a creature attacks you or plans walking control, you may pay white. If you do, create a 2-2. Two -two. Well, you only have one white source right now, and it's a wizard, so... Alright, cool. I gotta tap a swamp. Oh. Uh, oh, I I'm see. gonna play Staff of Valor. Staff of Valor is a one man artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus one plus zero oh, and first strike. I'll equip for one. Pretty good. Do you wanna equip yeah. it? Uh, yeah, why not? I'll equip it, yeah. yeah I, I guess why not. That's that's fair. If you're not spending that mana anyway. Yeah. Cool. Done? Alright, cool. Done, yeah. Alright, I will untap and draw. There we go. I... Hmm. What is my best play here? Probably this friend. Yeah, I can do this whenever I feel like. Okay. I will play a planes. And I will tap a forest and two planes to play Jade Shi Kin. I'm not actually sure how you pronounce the QIN. Might be Shin. I, I believe that. Yeah, maybe. Uh, is a three mana 2 2. 2 2. Legendary creature and human cleric. It has first strike, it has protection from black. And when Jade, she, Kin enters the battlefield, you gain three life. I can also tap mine for white and blue. Yeah. And, yeah. So we're both playing, um... Oh, I guess not necessarily. We're both playing white. Yeah. 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 All right. I'll pass. All right, I'll untap and draw. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna play a swamp. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I'd have one, two, three, play Tides Reach. Tides Reach. That sounds familiar. What's that do? Tides Reach is a three mana instant. Search your library for a basic island or a swamp, put it on the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. Great. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take a. <laughs> oh, it's an instant. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, Whatever. it's all good. Cool. Uh, actually, it kind of does matter because I could have used that add to a. No, no, actually, no. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, you didn't tap uh, your, yeah, your, your, your mental. Uh, yeah, I didn't even tap that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I will do that past my turn. I Great. Have, uh, I was wanted to play tapped. Great. I will. There we go. I think that's a good. I'm trying to figure out how to set my camera up. That one looks pretty okay. I will untap and draw. What's this do? Okay. Good to have that in my back pocket. I'm going to play an island. <gasps> I am running blue. Uh, and then I'm going to tap three things. I'm gonna say, you know what, actually, what do you have? You've got a 1-1, one, one, but it's a 2-0 oh, with first strike. Oh. Mm -hmm. So if I attack, you could block and kill my guy. Yeah. Crap, I didn't think of that. I was I didn't write mm -hmm. Yeah, oh that first strike. That's half a valor. Dang it. So I was thinking, oh, you make a two two and then I just I eat the two two. Which I guess I is still, still a two two. I if I have it if I tap it oh no, no, it won't work actually. Never mind. Um it, it's not it, it's not ability. Yeah, yeah, it's so not when a ability. Attacks you, yeah. Uh, great, so I I will pass through combat and I will tap like this, leaving my blue mana open to play Frosted Cliffs. A little bit of a mirror match going on here. Frosted Cliffs is a three mana sorcery. Search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. So I get to do, find any basic land. That's but nice. mine's only sorcery speed. <laughs> mm. All right, let's see what we got in here. I would like another island, I think. And then I then shuffle. Great. And I'll pass the turn. And I will untap. Mm-hmm. And draw. Mm-hmm. Uh this is uh I will pass the turn. Really? Um, thinking, yeah, I will, I will pass the turn. Ooh, okay, cool. I will untap and draw. I have no instant speed uh, things I plan on doing. I am just drawing lands. <laughs> you, did, you missed a land drop there, huh? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, I'll play a forest. Um, and then I'll pass. <laughs> okay, we seem to have come to an impasse. I only have I will, <laughs> I will untap, I will draw. Uh, okay, I will play this island. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, I will pass. Really? Alright. But what do you have then? Like, it's not like you only have lands because you missed your land drop last turn. It's not like you still can't afford anything because you've got six lands. Plus a guy that can tap for mana. What the heck is going on? <laughs> All right, I'll take my turn. I untap and draw. All right, I am going to play a planes. I think you might be yeah. waiting so that you can, like, board wipe me or something. Was there a board wipe in that draft? I don't remember. Uh, I'm gonna spend two white and a green, and two green and two white to play Toram Madad. Toram Madad is a four mana, two, three vigilant creature. Uh, creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So my two, two with first strike picking from black is now a three, three. So okay. if I attack you, you tap your guy, make a two, two, 
I eat the 2-2. It's irrelevant, except for I'm tapped down now. That's the only difference. Yeah. So I guess I'll just pass. Uh, yeah. Yeah? Wait, actually, do you have a planes yet? Or is that still your only white mana source? Oh, wow. Uh, it's Interesting. Oh, uh, maybe you have, like, two white pips cards or something. Anyway, go ahead. It's your turn. Alright, I will... Un of tap and draw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will pass turn. What is going on? <laughs> so weird. You have five cards in your hand. Yeah. All right, I'll untap and draw. <laughs> I, I drew a forest. <laughs> nice. No, it's, not. Cool idea for it. it's not good. <laughs> Alright, you only have one white source? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna tag with both of my friends. Let's do this. Alright. I'm gonna have a white source to make a, to make a samurai. Cool. Or a soldier. A, great. But is it a soldier? Oh, that would have been great with that other card that I had that it cares about when soldiers die. Uh, great. No so one cares if soldiers die. You can use a. Um, yeah, I'll use, I'll use uh, land, I guess. Use like like a uh, uh, a real land to distinguish it from our AI land. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and so you get to block. What am I talking about? I was thinking I got to decide. That would be silly. Yeah, yeah I'm going to choose not to block. Uh, I am going to tap uh, a swamp and an island. Uh huh. And I'm gonna play. If, if life is cooperate. Skeletal ground, a two mana instant destroy target creature. Its controller gains a life equal to its toughness. So I get to hit this. Interesting, but you're not gonna. Yeah, block. Actually, in that case, maybe I should. Uh, it's still its first strike. Block. It's still its first strike. Oh, it's still its first strike. Yeah. So, yeah. so no. Uh, yeah, I will. Uh, oh, this thing had vigilance. Uh, Sweet. <laughs> it's yeah, dead, well, now, it's dead now. But... I will... I'll, I'll gain three life. Yeah, gain three life. And, and I take Magog two, so, so I got one. And you only take two because they're dead. Yeah. It's a sad day. Sad day. Yeah. All right. Mm, all right, second main. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You know what? I'll pass. I'm feeling pretty okay right now. Let's see what happens. I will untap. I will draw. Ooh, I will play. I will play a mountain. Now you might see what's going on here. What? Your four colors? Yeah, I made a bad decision. So your hands just full of red cards. Yeah. All right. Well, now I'm terrified. You're just gonna have a suddenly explosive turn, I imagine. Uh, I mean, it's it's, it's stuff I could do in this is speed. Um, I'm thinking. Okay. Well, you know, I'll tap a red and a blue. Play Moonlit Butcher. Moonlit Butcher is a two mana two one. You can sack a creature to get a one one counter, and it can spend three, one of which has to be red, to regenerate. Okay. And then I am going to uh, spend one mm -hmm. to move this over to here. Oh, interesting. So that is now a 3-2 with first strike and first link. And I'm going to attack with it. They do make two. I just kind of like skimmed right by this card. Uh, yes, it's a 2-2 two -two white soldier creature. Don't have a life link. Great. Uh, I mean, I have no responses. So, yeah. Um... You I got to play four. four. Three. Yeah. Great. All right. Uh, that is my turn. Great. Um, I want to have a draw. What is this? Ooh, interesting. I like that. I like that. How much mana do you have open right now? A whole bunch. I, well, I have uh, free black mana. 
do I want You have a two one, you can sacrifice things. Also attack, blue, blue and white. You can tap this to make another two two. I have a two two. You don't have anyone with first strike defending anymore though. That's My true. guy has first strike. Uh yeah, I'll attack you. For two. Alright, I'll uh play this. I uh, get a no two two. Great, I'll eat the two. I mean if you decide to block, sorry. I keep thinking. I would rather not block. You're not gonna block? Alright, take two. Yeah. Alright, I got a 22. Great. Uh, in my second main, I'm going to play Deluge. It is a 4 Ooh. mana green sorcery. Deal 5 damage to each creature and each player. Oof. Uh, cost me 4. Uh, can't regenerate this. Oh. Um, okay. Uh, it all dies. Everything dies. I will. Oh, wait. I still have my, uh, artifact. Oh, you need nice. to keep your artifact, yeah. I'll take 5 damage. Going down to 15. I can go and down to uh, uh, 17. Great. Um, and I will pass. Alright, I will untap and draw. Hmm, <laughs> oh, let's see, I have one, two, three, or six. Uh, I pass. You pass. Yeah. All right, great. I will untap and I will draw. All right. I I think I think I play this and it just dies instantly, probably. So that's that's fun. Huh. I feel like you must have like a kill spell in your hand. So anything I play is just gonna die. Then again, you didn't really kill my other stuff. You killed that one thing eventually. But it took some time. Maybe you weren't scared of them, you were gonna save it. Seems mm -hmm. seems likely. Do I wait for you to take the initiative here? Or do I I guys gotta go. I just, I need to I need to hit the ground. I'm going to spend three mana, uh, no, four mana, sorry. Did I, did I play a land this turn? I didn't, right? I'm gonna play a snow-covered plains. <laughs> I'm going to spend four mana, like this, and play Maribel, Defender of the Grove, a four mana, two, three, legendary enchantment creature, Elf Druid. Uh, creatures I control get plus one plus one and have trample. That includes itself, so it is a three four with trample. Cool. Pass. Wait, no. Pass. I don't pass. Sorry, my mistake. I forgot. I have a second main. Uh, I'm gonna tap five, and I'm gonna play Shrouded Rites. Uh, do you okay. have? Your Does it resolve? Uh, while it's on the stack. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, I'll tap four. Yeah. Play uh, Intense Cold, which is the red card. Yeah, destroy target creature. It's control loses two life, and you gain two life. I I yeah. figured. I figured. I figured. Uh, yeah, so Shroud writes uh, as a five-man enchantment. It gets plus two, plus two, and Shroud. But before it resolves, uh, the target dies, which means it also goes, goes to graveyard. graveyard. Yeah. It says when enchanted creature dies, return to Shroud writes to its hand. But it was never enchanting the creature. It just it yeah. fizzles. Yeah, I kind of figured. Kind of figured that would happen. This, I mean, I I would think, oh wow, I've lost this game, but you haven't done anything either, so pass. Wow. I, I mean, Rude. like, I mean, honestly, right? Like, I'm not out yeah, of this. Yeah, I mean, you're right, but you don't got to say it. <laughs> uh, I will tap and draw. I think you're gonna win this because you have four cards in hand and I have zero cards in hand, even though yeah. we neither yeah, of us have material twang. on the board. Uh, I have, uh, one, two, uh, sorry, I have, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm-hmm. I wonder how much removal. Uh, yeah, I will, I will, I will, I will pass. Ooh, okay. I might top deck something here. Let's see. Untap. Draw. All right. I'm gonna spend five. One, two, three, four, five. And play 
Fairy Magus, a 5-mana 3-3 three, three Flying oh. Spirit. The beginning of my upkeep, I created a 1-1 White and Blue Spirit Creature Token with Flying. Cool. Dang. I pass the turn. Alright, I untap. I draw. That's pretty good. I'm gonna tap one, two, three, four. I'm realizing now that you might have a white card stranded in your hand because you don't have a, you know, a white source anymore. Play Apfi. Uh, Ooh, I like this. Enemy of mine. Yes. All right. This is an legendary enchantment creature, Gorgon. It is a four mana three three. Uh, you can regenerate any target creature, not just itself. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty cool. And I tap one put this uh, equipment on there. Okay, so you are a 4-3 with first strike now. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna say it tapped like this. Okay, I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Just in case. Uh, no, that's it. Alright, I'm gonna untap and draw. Untap. During upkeep, my fairy magus will kick. I will use an island to represent a spirit. It is a 1-1 one, one with flying. And I'll draw. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I can only attack with my Fairy Magus. It has flying, however. Yeah. So, I think I will. I'm gonna attack with this. It's a three, three in the air. All right, take three, go down to uh, uh, 16. Woohoo! All right, I'm going to then in my second main tap like six, that looks like six, and play Kulthanor. Ancestral Hunger. A six Ooh. mana, six six nymph. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control a green or white creature, such as Kalfenor, Kalfenor Ancestral Hunger deals two damage to any target, including your face. Yeah. Pass. Alright, I will untap. Oh yeah, we're back in it. Let's go. I will draw. I'm thinking about some of the really Ooh, okay. big cards I, I cut for this deck, and it's like, you know what? Those could have been really good. <laughs> maybe, I should, maybe I should put those back in. <laughs> I, I'm going to play a Faceless Lurker, so I'm going to look at the top four Ooh. cards of my, of my library. Yeah, find the best creature among the top four of cards. Pretty dang good. Yes. Faceless Lurker is a two-mana enchantment creature, Phyrexian Horror. It's a 2-2. Two -two. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom in any order. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. Um... They killed our clan to please their lord. That's what they did to our clan. But now we've slain him too. Kalfenor, Keeper of Yadame's Horde. Which is not this creature. This creature is Kalfenor Ancestral Hunger, who is not legendary. So I guess they're like... I was picturing this as sort of being like a cutting of Kalfenor. Does that make sense? Like they're like a nymph that like came from that like like branched off of it you know what i mean yeah yeah i don't know that's 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 my head cannon did, did you get any creatures or do you have a choice to make or did you whiff i i have a, I have a complicated choice oh wow okay actually yeah, i mean it's between two things yeah i feel like every uh, time we're... that tony played that he never whiffed but he did just always only have one choice <laughs> Oh yeah, I think I can't remember. He might have whiffed once actually, but he but he played it a bunch because he kept recurring it, and we played five games. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to I'm going to take this uh, mountain. Reveal is put into play. Um, I just gonna play it. You can't do that. Well, no, no. I I, I would play a land this turn. But this only finds creatures. Oh, it does. Oh. That's what I meant by when Tony played it. Oh, yeah. Like, well, yeah oh, yeah, there's only one creature I want from here. Yeah. Actually, so, yeah. yeah. You, get, you get the creature, but I get to see what it is. Oh, that made my choice so easy. I would like to see um, the creature. I would like you to reveal it. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, it is uh, this, this little one. Let's see. You got... Ooh, Goblin Raider is very good. Okay, I'm scared of that. That's not great for me. All right, uh, Goblin Raider, for those who haven't seen it, it's a two-mana orc, which is uh, gives all your creatures plus one, plus one. And you have 
a number of creatures now, actually. Oh, you played it? Yeah. Oh, you played Goblin Raider. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I gotta play it, yeah. A two-mana, two-one orc. As an additional cost to cast a spell, exile a creature card from your from your graveyard. Do you have any creatures in your graveyard? You I should. do, yeah. Like, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of uh, the Moonlight Butcher from the graveyard. Makes sense. I don't think you have any recursion, so it's kind of irrelevant. I do enjoy that cost. I'm sure I've talked about this with you before, but just like the yeah. idea of saying that you can't really play this on turn two very easily. It's only two mana, but you can't play it super early in the game. I think I want to see that more from cards where it's like, this is only a two mana card, but it's not a turn two card, right? Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Um, let's see. And, uh, and is, is it others or like, is it hit itself? It's creatures you control, so it's actually a 3-2. Oof. 3-2, yeah. Alright, did you get into co um, combat yet? So, and this is a 5-4? For, for uh, strike. So it's 3-3, three, three, it becomes a 4-4, four, four, and it's got plus 1 from its Staff of Valor. So yeah, yeah, 5-4 for a strike uh, that you can spend black to regenerate. You have a 6-6, six, six, don't, don't worry. I do have a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, also, Actually, um, on my upkeep, I deal two damage to any target, so I can just ping down your Goblin Raider next turn. Uh, yeah, maybe somebody. Okay, is it okay if I didn't play that? Sure. I don't care. Yeah. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, so this will be here. When the time comes, I will put this over here. I'm going to just accrue value from turn to turn if we continue to be in a weird stalemate where we both pass like four times in a row. Yeah. That was weird. I'm glad that happened because I would have lost otherwise. But I guess you might also be feeling the same way. Yeah. Turn... I, I'm curious if game two is going to go the same. Yeah, we'll see. I'm not really sure what my curve is. I didn't, like, do a, an analysis of it. I was just like, these are all the cards I want to play. I, I yeah, guess that'll I have to like, do. Well, okay, I, 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 I did a practical draft earlier, so it's like this is more of a silly draft. Cool. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Alright, I will untap. Wait, why are you untapping? It's my... It's your turn. Oh, no, sorry. I, I, I'd have to say, but yeah, it's, it's your turn. Sorry. Oh, you untapped what you had tapped to play the Goblin Raider. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Passing to me? Passing to you. All right. Yeah. I will untap, and then I got some triggers on my upkeep. Uh, Fairy Magus will trigger and create a 1 1 white and blue spirit creature token with flying. Don't forget that these have flying. And mm -hmm. Halfner Ancestral Hunger will deal 2 damage to any target. Now, I could kill your Faceless Barker. Or I could hit your apathy, knocking it down to one hit. But I don't know if I can do that last hit, so it's probably not relevant to me. I'll kill your faceless lurker, or I'll do two damage All to right, your faceless I'll, lurker. I'll tap. Uh, so, so regenerate it. Um. Yeah. I. Okay. Yeah. No. Fair enough. That's something. Oh, you should have done that with the face. Honestly. Yeah. We both didn't uh, think of a thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's all good. Uh, so this is it's tapped, right? It becomes tapped. Yeah, you you. So regenerate means when it would be destroyed, you un you remove all damage marks from it, remove it from combat, and tap it. Okay, it's a very cool. complicated mechanic, which is why they don't use it anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of things to remember. <laughs> all right, that's my turn. Cool. Uh, I mean, it's my turn. <laughs> that was my yeah. upkeep. I haven't drawn yet. <laughs> But yeah, no, that's interesting. We could have killed your... Uh, if I tried to kill your raider, you would have just regenerated it. So it would have been same, same. Actually, do you have enough, you had enough uh, swamps? Yeah, you did. Well, we both forgot. Mm -hmm. I will draw. Okay. Very cool. Am I dead? You're not dead. I'm going to spend... An, I'm going to tap an island. And I'm going to tap... Another five. One, two, three, four, five. To play Frozen Wisp. Frozen Wisp is a 3 3 flyer that costs me six. It's a spirit, and for three mana, target creature gains Shroud until end of turn. It can't be the target spells or abilities. So this means a couple things. One, it means that, um,. I can protect my stuff for three mana. It also means I can stop you from regenerating something, I guess? I mean, I would have to pay two mana, I guess? Like, uh, right, you'd have to, you'd have to regenerate mana. it again afterwards. That would work. That would work. 
Yeah. Right, because you would just be like, I regenerate. I'll be like, well, no, you'll, you'll still have hexproof. Oh, no, because on the stack. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In response to the hexproof, or the shroud, um, applying, you would then regenerate it before that happens. That yeah. should work, I think. Regenerate yeah, is weird. <laughs> it is weird, yeah. Anyway, um, I've got some flyers. I'm gonna hit attack you with the not not no oh, this one's new. These two have been here before. Right, I'll this take is a four. Six, six. I haven't thought about it yet. I don't know if I want to attack with my six. Oh, sorry. Not. You have first of all, you do still have War Mario's doing it, but you have no planes yet, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, faceless lurker. Apathy is how big is it? It's a four. Yeah. Yeah, you know, let's put the pressure on. I'm going to attack with Kalfanor as well. So Kalfanor okay. is six on the ground, and then I've got a spirit in the air and another spirit for three. So four in the air and six on the ground. I, I've got, I guess I'm kind of a spirit deck. <laughs> yeah. I got a couple spirits. All right, so, so I, will, I will block the, the Apathy, and then I will regenerate it. Great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think that works. Yeah, yeah. you, you, you declare it as a blocker. Um, when it would die, which is the six damage coming at it, it gets removed from combat. So it doesn't do any damage to me, I don't think, because it gets removed from combat. No, it would, I, it would still do the damage to me because... Yeah, yeah but it's only five, four damage. Because yeah. there's no stack of damage, yeah. I don't know how that works. Anyway, but yes, it was, it's fine. Because, um, yeah, it gets removed from yeah. combat is relevant to it. But that's only, like, relevant if it, like... If, if you guys it's, have a rules fall, yeah. My damage and your damage are gonna happen simultaneously, so... Yeah, it's just that it can't rejoin the combat when... I think it's more of a flavor thing, right? It dies, yeah. it just doesn't leave... It just doesn't leave the battlefield, but it still gets yeah. wounded. It's like, ow, oh, I got hurt, I'll be good in a second, but I can't fight today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, you took your damage? I took, I took my damage, yeah. And you're at... 12. Oh, 12. I've done some decent damage. Huzzah! Oh, right, I hit everyone for 5 at the beginning of the game. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll pass the turn. Draw. Yeah. Alright, I'll get a mountain. Okay, what to do here? Um, I am going to play... I'm not looking at cards, I mean, sorry. There we go. I'm going to have all my mana. Ooh, all of it. That means you can't regenerate things. Uh, that's true. It's true. Is it that? Is it that good for falling mana? Maybe not. I don't know. How much mana do you even have there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've eight. Oh, you yeah. put an eight cost card, or are you playing two cards? <laughs> uh, no, it's an eight cost card. <laughs> I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play this. Goblin Raider and, two. Uh, Got it. Uh, you must exile a creature from your card. A creature card, yes, from your graveyard. Okay, hey, creature card. Additional cost. Uh, yeah, so I saw this one. Great. Um, and Which I think I will tap eight. Yep. You tap mm. one. I will swap the Swamp and Island and two mountains. Okay. Uh, play Oath Sworn Paladin. Oath Sworn Paladin, the four mana, four, four dragon for two. This game's indestructible until end of turn. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah. And you have three. No, you have two left, and they're both swamps. Gotcha. Right. This is yeah. this is an enchantment, not a, a land. Yeah. Okay. You seem like you're waiting for me. I. It's your turn. I don't. Uh, I, I pass. Oh, okay. You don't want to attack me. Um. You make a good point. My hand's uh, empty. No tricks. Other than onboard tricks. You have a free free and uh Uh yeah, sure. I'll I'll attack with the apathy. Cool. Uh I'll take four, I believe. No, I take five because you played the Goblin Raider. Oof. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, alright. Uh go down to ten. Mm -hmm. You didn't want to attack with anything else? I mean it's too late nah, now. Nah, I'm good. Take the damage. I guess you could only take with the Faceless Lurker and it would just die to the... Yeah, it's not really worth yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I should have trade. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, so... so uh, is it okay if I attack with this? Yeah, sure. All right, thank you. 
I'll take an additional three. This is bad. I think I lost the game. Let's see if I top deck something cool. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. All right. First thing, untap. It's my turn, right? It's your turn, yeah. Untap. During upkeep, I will get another spirit. This one has some missing, so I'll put it over here. And if Kulthanor Ancestral Hunger will do two damage to any target. If I hit the orc, then you can regenerate it. And then I can spend three to make it have shroud. And then you can regenerate it again, and then I can spend another three. Do I want to spend six mana on getting rid of that? I think I do. I'm gonna I'm gonna direct two damage at this. Alright, um I'm gonna spend um Actually, let me think. I got a lot of lands, so I think I think it's worth it. I might not draw something that costs much, so I, I'd rather commit this uh, this mana to this. Yeah. Yeah. Unless I'm bluffing. Unless you're bluffing. Um. This you know, game. yeah. I'll, I'll actually, I'll, I will actually. For reasons, I will just have it die. You'll let it die? Yeah. yeah. Great. Didn't cost me anything. Sweet. I yeah. will... Draw. Mm -hmm. Alright, who am I to say no to this? I will play a island and a plains to play Sand Shaper... Sand Shaper Rigger. Uh, it is a 2-mana two 2-1 two, enchantment creature Merfolk Rogue. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. When it dies, gain 2 life. So, ETB, draw a card. And, um... Yeah, alright, cool. Alright, let's see. How much do you have on board? Uh, if you attack me with everything, that's 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need to have enough blockers for that. Unless you have some way of making things unblockable, which is possible. Um, I got flyers. Hmm. I block the four, four, or the like maybe five. Four, depending on if you move your uh, staff. I, am. I don't die to that. And then the others get through. So let's assume that you leave it on this. That's six damage. You only need one extra. Oh. I can't. Well, but I'll have both of these back still. Yeah, I'll have right. both of these back. I'm going to attack. How much health do you have? 12? 10. 12, so sorry. 12. Um, so I only played this this turn, as well as I made the spirit. So all of these don't have summoning sickness. Yeah. I attack with everything right now. That is 3, 6, 7, 8 in the air, and then 6 on the ground. You are forced to block the 6, but you can... You don't have any red. You can't make this indestructible. But you do a black, so you can regenerate. Okay. Um, cool. Huh. I think we leave back the six, and then we still have, like, three blockers unless you kill them all. Which you could. Maybe you got, like, a do one damage to every creature. I I know I've seen every card because we drafted them face up, but I don't remember every card. <laughs> yeah, um, I will attack you. You know what? I'll take this slow and steady. I will attack you with my two flyers for six in the air. You have 12 health, two turns. Why would I rush it? I'll take six. Okay, great. I will pass. All right. I'll tap. I'll draw. Uh, that's a mountain. Okay. I'll play a mountain. Great. That's a lot of land. Uh... Sometimes you draft, like, a lot of really cheap card draw. 
Not this time. <laughs> we're both. Yeah, uh, both I really think he just concedes. Really? So, you can't yeah. stop my flyers. Yeah, it's two flyers. So flyers are real games. good. Flyers win limited yeah. games. That's what I always say. Yeah. All right. Uh, whoop. Whew, all Start right. Good game. Again. That was intense. Good game. Yeah. Um, I will remove all of my spirits so that I don't accidentally shuffle them into my deck. And uh, let's rack it up for round two. Okay, you have the uh, choice of going first, if you wish, because um, you lost the first round. And uh, I... Yeah, I'll go first. Ooh, do I want to keep this hand or not? I'm keeping. I'm going to get mana screwed if I keep this. I'll keep! And right. I'll reset my life to 20, because I forgot to do that. Hey, right, I'll play a Swamp. Yeah, go uh, Tap. I'll play a Respond to Banner. Ooh, okay. Good turn one play. And turn yeah. two, you start right, loading. That's, that's... Seems nice. Yeah, that's my turn. All right, I will draw. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is going to be fine. This is going to be fine. This is going to be fine. I'm going to play... Does it matter what I play first? Not superbly. I will play a Plains. You already know what colors I'm running. So, actually, let's talk about that. Um, you don't have to reveal anything that you didn't already reveal in the first game, but we saw you were playing four colors. It's everything but green? Yeah. Uh, blue, black, red, and white. We only saw a single white card from you, though, so I'm thinking that might be a splash. Yeah. Huh. Cool. And I am playing white, green, and blue. Um, I think you might call it Bant. I would call it Brokers. Is that correct? Did I get it right? Um, yeah, I guess, I guess so, yeah. I, I, I'm legitimately yeah, yeah, asking, yeah, that's, I don't that's know. That's banter and brokers, yeah. Yeah, I knew it was brokers. I didn't know if it was banter or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little baby. <laughs> Go ahead, wow. pass. Take your turn. I'll untap, I'll draw. Um, okay, I will play a mountain. Okay. Uh, I will pass the turn. Ooh, okay. This is piano. Yeah, you can instant speed resplendent banner, so that makes sense. I will untap if I had any, and I would draw. Uh, cool. Seems seems good. I will. I guess just in case, depending on what I draw, I will play a forest to keep my options open, and I have no turn to play. Pass. All right. I will tap two to draw this card. Okay, uh, just for anyone who skipped the second game. Resplendent Banner, one mana artifact for two and tap. Draw a card, discard a card. What do you discard? I will discard a mountain. Mountain, cool. Great. All right, I will Very tap. different game than last time, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Discarding mountains. I will play Swamp. Okay. So that is a mountain, two swamps, great. Um, I will tap. I have a feeling you're Just... mostly black and black and red, so yeah. I think you have a pretty good opening. I, I'll, I'll play Faceless Foot Lurker. Really like solid. Top four. Honestly, this is maybe one of my favorite cards. It's, it, yeah, this is one of my favorite cards from the entire block. Like, it's such a real magic card. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, absolutely. I think this is such an actual, like, yeah. It's a t it's 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 a two minute two two that when it enters the battlefield, you. Don't just draw a card, but also don't like like I don't I don't know like it's just I don't know it's it's mm, I really like it. It's good. So you find a creature out of your top yeah. four cards, and the rest go in the bottom of your library. Yeah. Uh. Let's see, I'll take uh this one. I get to see it. It's revealed. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's Osram Paladin. Oh, Osram Paladin. The, the four mana 4-4 four, four that can make itself indestructible. Very good. Also, is a dragon if you care about dragons. Which you might. I don't know. If I care. Sometimes that happens. Yeah. I don't think there's... There, there are cards that care about dragons in the block, but I don't think we saw any in our draft. Yeah. I don't think so either. Um, yeah, so that's, that's me. Uh, I'm done. Cool. I will untap and draw. I mean, I... You know, for the sake of consistency. 
I will play, do I have another planes? <gasps> do I not? Oh, I don't have another planes. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. Okay. I will play a forest in that case. And I was planning on playing something else, but I don't have a plans. So which would I prefer? Don't want to play that. And what about this one? Huh. Not great. Huh. Do I hold off? You've already got some stuff on the board. I feel like I probably shouldn't wait. Ah, screw it. I'll pass. Okay, I will untap and draw. Live on the edge. I already got. I got. I got. I got. I got a win. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. how this works. Yeah, totally. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna attack by two two. Okay, I'll take two. Unless you have any I'll tap responses one, before damage. One one two to play. Uh, uh yeah, yeah, nothing, nothing yet. And I'll tap one two to play this up. Uh, Moonlit Butcher. Moonlit Butcher, scary. Two mana, two one, sack a creature, put a one counter on this, spend three to regenerate. Expensive regenerate, but. Yeah, alright, cool. Seems pretty good. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. it. Alright. I do not have an instant speed thing, as you might have expected. Uh, I'll untap a draw. Cool. I'm gonna play another forest. Now I've got four lands. You've got a lot going on at this point, so I think I can't afford to wait another turn. Okay. So I will tap three, and I will play Storm Chaser Mage. Storm Chaser Mage is a 3-mana zero, 0 enchantment creature elemental that says it enters with a number of 1-1 counters equal to the number of lands you control. So it's a 4-4. Four, four. If I played it last turn, it would have been a 3-3. Three, three. Whenever a land I control is put into a graveyard from anywhere, put a 1-1 counter on Storm Chaser Mage. So if I discard cool. a land, if I sort of like mill a land, or if they get destroyed, which they can't. There's nothing to destroy the lands. Um... They get, they get to continue to grow, but I don't expect that to happen. So mm -hmm. I'm going to... Honestly, these cards, because of the table mod, I should still be able to actually do the fancy things. Alright, we got a 4-4. Four, four. For 3. Of course, I have an extra mana that I didn't spend, so... Was it really for 3? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, either say, way, that's it. I pass. Go ahead and I, take I your tap. turn. I draw. Okie doke. Um, I'm gonna tap uh, these two and uh, draw a card and this and this card. Okay. Really need to get that land. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get a land, but I did get something nice. I see you discarded um, the land earlier in this game, and now you're now you're starved, huh? Yeah. Hungry. Hungry um, for lands, hungry for mountains. Eat the tasty yeah, rocks. Kind of, kind of like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play and Not mountains I'm gonna so actually much <laughs> uh, discard this Oath for Paladin. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Across two red pips, you only have one mountain. Makes sense. I'll tap one to play mm -hmm. uh, Talos Monument. Ooh, that's nice. Taps for white or blue. Very good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap for blue. Okay. I'm gonna play uh, the Slow Dog and Wizard. It's a one mana one one. Uh, it also taps for white or blue. Yeah. Well, I think you're probably sitting pretty now, which is scary for me. I don't want that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So there you go. Great. Anything else? I uh, know, I'm done. Okay. Moonlit Butcher is starting to get scarier and scarier. I guess Talos Monument is an artifact. I'm gonna put it over here if you don't mind, just so I know that you only have three creatures. But if I attack, you could instant speed become a 4-3. Kill my 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, anyway, yeah, that was true, your turn. Yeah. You, 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 you turn, turn? Yeah. Okay, great. I will untap. I will draw. And I will miss my land drop. We're all very sad about it. 
No. I think that's not good though if you miss your land drop. Or I have expensive things that cost more than four land. Or What's say, really? Blue. <laughs> okay, this isn't so bad. This is actually fine. I'm going to tap three. And I'm going to play Frosted Cliffs. Frosted Cliffs, three mana sorcery. Search your library for a basic land. Put it onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle. So I'll go find myself an island. Nice. So, still missed my land drop, but I correctively ramped, if that makes sense. Yeah. It's not actually ramped because I missed my land drop, but you know, you know, I don't know. Uh, it's tapped, I believe. Yes, so I still only have the one. Now, if I attack and you sack your board, you still lose the Moonlit Ditcher. So I think, I think I will attack you for four. Right, I'll take four, go down to 16. Makes sense to me. Pass the game. Pass the turn. Pass the right. Yeah. Oh, you pass the game? Oh, nice. You don't do anything for the rest of the game. For the rest of the game, yeah. Uh, let's see what they got. Okay. I'm going to tap boop and boop. Okay. I'm going to play Goblin Raider. Ooh. I have something in the graveyard. Goblin Raider is a two mana, two one. Oh, nice. Very good. Oop, wow. Oh, yeah. you, you got exiled. It was the, the dragon. Yeah. yeah. Nice. The dragon, yeah. Did you just pick this up, or did you intentionally throw it in there because you were like, ah, I have this in my hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, no, no, I threw it in there because I had it in my hand, yeah. Cool. So, yes, yeah. uh, additional cost to cast a spell, exile a creature card from your graveyard, and your creatures get plus one, plus one. So it is a 3-2. You have a 3-3 three, three Faceless Lurker. You have a 3-2 Moonlit Butcher, and you have a 2-2 two, two, the Dalkin Mentor. Yeah, and I'm going to scary. tap one to play Staff of Valor. Wow, you're just getting all the hits. Playing all the hits today. Yeah. Staff of Valor, we saw last game. It's a one mana equipment. It can equip for one and it gives something plus one plus oh, which, and first strike, which is the important part. That was punishing last time, so. Yeah, so this is a free two right now. So yeah, I'm going to tap this. Uh, monument, put put right? Staff of Valor on he, on this Goblin Raider. Goblin Raider. It can't attack this turn, though. But cool. I guess you want it to uh, defend it, so that if it blocks, it doesn't die. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, and I'm going to swing out uh, for uh, 5 plus 3 is uh, 8. So I'm going to hit you for 8. Um, yeah, I'll take 8. That's brutal. I go down to 10. All right. Uh, oh, that's my yeah. turn. All right, I will untap and draw. Let's see what I can find. Okay, not terrible. What do you do? Okay. Cool. I don't think that's good enough right now, but there's some really good... Yeah. Um... can't afford that. That doesn't do anything yet. That I don't have the mana for. And then that. Okay. What is my best choice? Probably this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's only a 2-2. Two, two. Okay. I will tap five lands to play Nar, Manipulator of Memory. A very blue sounding name. This is a green white creature. It's a three five legendary enchantment creature spirit. It has first strike, it has lifelink, and whenever it or another non-token creature I control dies, I create a treasure token. Yeah. Um, I, I think I choose to pass here. I can't afford to be swinging out. Go for it. Alright, I, I will need to untap. stabilize a bit before I start attacking. I'll again. draw. You've got a scary board. I'll, I'll play an island. Oh, you got an island. Nice. Yeah, oh, actually, huh? So, one, two, three, four. So, let's see, this is a. a so, four, eight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I'm going to. 
And you tapped out. Yeah, I'm gonna tap all this. Okay. Uh, uh, to tap the uh, use the other ability Talus Monument. Oh no! Creatures you control get plus one plus zero and gain flying until end of turn. Yeah, and I swing out. Um, do I just lose? Uh, this is four damage. This is uh, or sorry, five damage. This is four damage. What? Uh, just... This is also uh, because of the sword. Yes. Oh, right. No, so what, you mean because of Talus Monument giving plus one plus oh? I forgot about that part. Immediately. Yeah. Wow. That is. You actually got yourself that Grixis. Yeah. Whew. Mm -hmm. Whew. I, mean, I, I could have done it with this, but it would have been a bit less damage. Yeah. It would have been three less damage, which I, th I think we still actually got I, you. Yeah, I got ten. So, yeah. Five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah. 16 damage. Even if I could block two of you, would I still have? Yeah, I would have still been able to survive if I blocked two of you. Okay. Wow. You also have life leak on this person. Yeah. I do. Yeah. But it was not meant to be. <laughs> Yeah, I have nothing I can do. GG, you got right. me. Ow. Yeah. I I underestimated Talus Monument. Four mana. It's worth it when it wins you the game. Whew. Yeah, that's quite it's quite a finisher, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh let's move to game three. Uh, Alright, I I'm I'm gonna keep keep this. Um, well, that's a pretty good open. But I have nothing else. I'm gonna keep. I... Mm, I'm gonna keep. I'll draw lands, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we're moving into game three. We both have one, one. Uh, let's do this. I, I guess I get to go? Always feels weird because it's, you know, if you win every time you go first and you go first every time you lose, then if you go first first, then you win the game, right? <laughs> like, uh, yeah. So it always feels a little bit unfair, but uh, oh well. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go first. I'm going to start by playing a snow covered plains and tapping it to play Brood of Giants. Brood of Giants Ooh, is a one mana, one one, whenever Brood of Giants or another enchantment creature, or sorry, enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, put a one one counter on target creature you control. So not now, target. but yeah, in the future. Well, yeah. no, whenever Brood of Giants. Yeah, yeah but there's no creatures. Oh, it's a creature, yeah. It's a sorry. creature. Oh. So yes, I will give itself a one one counter. It is a two two. Cool. Yeah, pretty All dang right, I will tap cool. and draw. Go ahead. I do pass. I'm gonna play. I guess I'll play a swamp. Okay, that seems good for you. You're you're basically like a Grixis deck, right? Yeah. You just got a little bit of white because you got those two cards that make them. Do you have any planes in the deck, actually? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm drawing. Anyway, I pass. Cool. All right. Um, I want to tap and draw. Let's see. I will play. Another planes. And I will attack it for two. Please take Alright, I'll take two. Great. And eighteen. And then I'll pass. I'll tap and draw. Okay. Um I think I gotta play a mountain and pass. Alright, it's one of those games. I will untap and draw. I drew a land. I play an island. Yeah, I kept a two lander. Mm -hmm. Alright. That was a very convenient land, too, because I'm going to tap three and play Pyromancer Elite, a blue card. I only have, like, four blue cards in this deck, honestly. 
I, I built my deck and I went, well, that's only like 19 cards. Let's throw some blue cards. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Pyromancer Elite is a 3-mana 2-1 enchantment creature, human wizard. It can't be blocked, and for 2-mana and tap, tap target creature, it doesn't untap during its control its next untap step. It seems okay. pretty good. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, Brood of Giants sees it. It's an enchantment, so I get to put a woman counter on target creature I control. Do I want a 3-3 three, three, so I can punch you for 3, or do I want to make my Pyromancer Elite into a 3-2, because it can't be blocked for future? I think, against my better judgment, I'm going to buff my Brood of Giants, and I will attack you for 3. Take three. All right, I'll take three. I'll go down to f uh, 15. Great. Pass the turn. And right, tap. Mm -hmm. I'll draw. Okay. It's uh, not good. I'm so worried. <laughs> I'm going to play an island. Ooh, very tap, good. Tap uh, two. You get the natural there. Oh, what, what, what is the ma mountain? Yeah. Yeah. And I'll play... Um, actually, hold on a sec. Yeah, I'm playing Moonlit Butcher. Okay, well, the Butcher is back. 2-mana, two 2-1, two, sack a creature, put a 1-1 counter. Well, we've never seen that mode get used, or the other mo mode, actually. It's just been a 2-mana, two 2-1 two so far. Yeah. yeah. It might have me, like, just to be able to that creature might, might just get me. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, it. that's for me. Great. I will untap a draw. Not a land, but... Oh, dang, I don't have that color of mana either. That would cost green. I can't do it. Um, cool. Do I wait on this, or do I want the extra body? Is the body more important than the, the coolness? The cool factor? I don't know. Um, all right, I will You've got a 2-1. I'm gonna attack with both of my friends. I've got a 3-3 three, three and a 2-1 that's unblockable. B? Uh, uh, yeah, I will, uh, take a, uh, to um, yeah, let's see here. It's five total, two of which you can't block. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, why is it? Uh, why is it, um... Oh, it can't be blocked, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, in that case, I will block the, uh, this guy. That was a free-free, sorry. Three, three, uh, three, darn. Three, three. Yep. Uh, yeah, no, I'll just take it then. Okay. Go out of the um, that's five damage, and I will pass to you. All right, I'll tap and draw. Oh, yeah, good start. Uh, I'm gonna play Mountain. Okay. Yeah, I did have a good start. Well, except for the fact that I'm out of lands. <laughs> but I got two yeah. good cards. That's all it takes, I guess. All right, I'm gonna play uh, Dragon God's Rage. Dragon God's Rage. And I'm going Rage. to attack. Uh, before you uh, uh, declare attackers, I have an action. Dragon's God's oh. Rage is a 4-mana enchantment. Whenever a creature you control dies, if it was a creature, you may pay 4 if you do return when, to the when battlefield. I, when I think I kind of forgot about the fact that you have to pay 4 mana, that actually makes the card way worse than it's, I thought. It's it was... not great. It's not great. Um, so, um, when you move to combat, I am going to spend 2 mana, a white and a blue, to tap down Moonlit Butcher. Oh, it doesn't untap? Okay, and it cool, doesn't untap you. during your next untap step, so it's basically has a stun counter on it. Yeah. Cool? Cool. I want to see a stun counter proliferate deck. I should make that. That's fine. Or like a shield counter. Just like a like one yeah. plus Capenna. Make a deck. I'm sure, just I'm sure more stun counters will come in the future. I just really liked new Capenna a lot. Um, and so combining it with proliferate sounds really fun. Yeah. Was stun, in, was stun even in that one? It wasn't, was it? That wasn't, no, it was all, no. I think we only just seen a Dominary Ned. Stun was Dominary? I can't, I can't remember where Stun came from. Shields was from well, it, it, Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Either way, uh, anything else in your turn? Uh, no, no, that's it. Great. I will untap. That will draw. Ah. 
my hand is all green. <laughs> it's just green cards, and none of them are land. Oof. Uh, I'll, I'll attack. There you go, win. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use... win. I do five damage. Alright. Great. Uh, untap. I, I pass to you. You can untap, but retap your uh, butcher, please. Of, uh, Not that. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. Okay. I mean, things hmm. can turn around fast. There's some really powerful yeah. cards, so. Yeah, I'm gonna play this mountain. Uh, I'm gonna play a cards. We'll, we'll see how it goes. That buys me, buy me a turn. It's five mana. And it's, uh, is it? Uh, I'll play, uh, Kamal Undying King. Kamal Undying King. Five mana, five, four nymph. Other nymphs get plus one, plus one. You put this in your deck with no other nymphs? It's awesome. Uh, no, I had a nymph. There's a nymph in there. Nice! Yeah, Whenever a creature you control energy. becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, draw a card. Oh! So if I tap down your guy, you get to draw. Yeah, but I'll, oh, but I'll still be dead, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I'm gonna do that, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna tap down your guy. Yeah, I get to draw, yay! You have to I will choose not to discard. Oh, it's a May. Yeah, you're right, I forgot about that. You draw yeah. a card and then you May discard. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I can, I can see a good game. Uh, I don't have lethal. Yeah, you do. You have five. I have five left. Oh, you had six. I'm sorry. I misread your health. Cool. Do you want to go to five, or do you want to call it good? Uh, no, I'm getting a little tired, but that was fun. I'm curious what I would draw, though. Uh, I'm it curious wasn't I draw a forest, but it was a card I can play. Uh, okay, I would have got. Yeah, if I had just a bit more time, I would have gone blockers. But also, like, yes. Yeah, but I would have really played this on my next down turn. Something for two. I could play this and, on like, my next turn. And, like, it's carries over it's so good yeah sky shroud crusader is a two mana two two that would have put a counter on each of my other creatures when i played it and i also can stop you from blocking with this one too so i got lots of means to get in for the damage that's what i would have drawn uh yeah turns out with with the right cards three mana is enough yeah there you go all right well that was our best of three um, Grixis with a splash of white versus, um, Bant. I don't like saying Bant. Bant sounds wrong to my brain. I played green, white, and blue. B played black, blue, and red. Uh, uh what's the, yeah, what's the Nephilim that's like that? I forgot. Oh, are there Nephilim that are all the different colors combos? Yeah, 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 that's the thing. Like, the only times, like, those four colors have been, like, a cycle the four color cards have been there's been a cycle of four color cards where the regional of africa had nephilim that were uh oh cool uh, I, I thought you were just talking i thought you were talking about grixis so i was like oh that's weird that there's also a three color combo. uh let me just see you, you were talking nephilim. about the white you were talking about white anyway um we we can discuss that uh after thank Are you everyone sure? for joining us uh we're gonna try and get some more games out so stay tuned have a good night everyone yeah, have a good night. Good night! Good night! <laughs>